I always pondered growing up if there was anything beyond what we can understand and perceive. It makes sense if you look back through history at iconic figures such as Madame Curie, Galileo and Christopher Columbus, they all had theories or made discoveries that changed the way we perceived the world around us. I make no claim that I or my team are those visionaries or pioneers, but until someone like us does the paranormal field proper justice, our knowledge in the area will stay in its current state. Lots of theories and very little proof either way. I made it my life's goal to put together a team that touches every required aspect within its own right. Now, 31 years later, I have a team that covers every area I could have dreamed of. Come with me, Anton Herrick, as I introduce you to my dream team and take you on our journey through CPINZ and our rolling research vehicle. I see what the naked eye can't. Vitals can't lie. Putting theories to the test. The camera never lies. Your experiences are subjective. Breaking through a stagnant field. RRV, Rolling Research. We've been donated an amazing piece of kit. It's a caravan. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got to gain sponsorship and we've got to get the team organised and get this thing built. This thing is going to take us into the future and we want you involved and we want you to follow it. So follow us and let's get going. The Rolling Research Vehicle or RRV will become an integral tool in CPNZ's kit. It will allow us to take our projects, including our new investigation process created by the unique professional team members CPNZ consists of, and entwine them together into one advanced mobile lab. Our first task is to begin the research and development. This won't be easy, considering no one at CPNZ has worked on a build of this magnitude. However, I know if a New Zealand team can achieve this, CPNZ is that team. So the main key areas are obviously going to be the building materials, um, Research and development consists of many team meetings where we spoke and argued over how best to put the RRV together. What became obvious really fast, we needed sponsorship help, something this field has struggled to gain in the past. I was tasked with locking the sponsorship in as my vast marketing experience that had driven CPINZ so far. It became a proud and shocking realisation that sponsors were keen to get involved behind this team. For once, this field had something to offer these companies due to the way CPNZ created our team and goals, and these companies could see how different CPNZ and our projects within this field were. Big name companies were willing to place their reputations and names next to a paranormal investigation team in public with pride, testament to CPNZ's ways, giving hope and drive we were heading in the right direction. So now it's serious, we had to transform what you can see looks impossible. Sponsorship was a game changer to CPINZ and our timeframes, meaning planning needed to be stepped up to meet the sponsors' needs. Research and our processes had shown us that there was a lot to fit into the RRV, but she still needed to function clean and professionally, as well as be future-proof to accommodate in changes to CPINZ's goals and future plans. Our graphics designer actually made this task exciting, as for the first time we could see and manipulate the RRV's needs in our own 3D world. And so the deconstruction began, with 8 van loads of rubble removed, a medic's kit emptied, 
and a stark, scary realization that this was going to take our all. Hard sacrifices would have to be made. CBINZ will have to sacrifice our high profile cases to work on the production vehicle, but we are still there to assist the public in, in their needs if they have any cases. But as I said, we're putting the uh, high profile cases on hold to focus all our efforts and energy onto the research vehicle to get it up and running as quickly as possible while we've got this sponsorship in place. CPINZ and CPINZ Productions began filming an interesting case one month before the RRV's completion. The time and money put into the Avonhead case which was a family who believed they were haunted by a Korean family and was massive. The final process of the productions was to be placed on hold as sponsors gave us timelines of availability. It would have to wait till after the RRV's completion. As planning continued behind the scenes and our sponsors began coming to the party, Chris, our building inspector and thermographer took control of the rebuild. What you will see transformation wise throughout this rebuild will shock you into understanding CPINZ's drive in this field. Our plan is to walk you through our journey with in-depth info, processes from the team's professionals taking you into the future with CPINZ in an innovative and exciting way. CPINZ worked so hard to bring professionals into this team who could help change this field for the better. Every member had a job to do when completing our new exciting back-end database, which will show you, our fans, a never-been-seen look into this field via our innovating and unique website. You are seeing a first sneak peek at the reporting software now. The RRV project has meant we've had to look into all areas of this exciting field. Our investigation process has been driven by our professionals in a complete overhaul into how we see and work this field. Our episodes will give you a look into our work and just how different CPIZ really is. The gear and programming being built will revolutionise this field in our country. Stay with us as we walk you through that new gear and our goals for this, our rolling research vehicle. I'm Anton Hayrick, CPINZ Principal Investigator. Stay tuned for the next instalment when we showcase our amazing sponsors and how they feel about CPINZ. We go deeper into the RRV rebuild and show you how our gear and processes will help CPINZ better understand our cases and clients. We showcase our new team members and how important they are to this team.